Power on. Very nice. Green. Oh my god. Wow. Blue. Dude. I am genuinely surprised. Sure, I'm not gonna get like, you know, the, the fancy tasks and everything that I get from Philips Hue. But considering that th this was $10? Dude. What's up, guys? How are you doing today? You can't tell me to be quiet because then I laugh. What's up, everybody? How are you doing today? My name is David DeFranco, and welcome to the weekend of Lockerty Vlog. Mom? It's drug addiction. He needs to get his syringes. I need my needles. Mom, how are you? What's that? I'm good. It was a car. No, it wasn't. It was like a scooter or something. It was little. God, I always look like such a moose in your cameras. Not even 30 seconds in and you're playing with your hair already. Speaking of playing with my hair, has anybody heard from Sully? Is he still alive? I don't even think I heard yeah. from him at Christmas time. He commented on my video about the chair model office reference. Mm. Mom, thank you for the haircut. Did he comment on your 100th and one desk? You guys like this? Did you see this the City of Scranton got a Dundee Award? No, for what? Somebody shared it with me on Facebook from the, the mayor of um, Scranton, the office. Uh, Meredith and somebody else virtually gave them a Dundee Award. Angela? No. Um, I forget. I heard it on the radio first thing this morning, and then somebody shared it with me on Facebook. She's making this up. I heard it on the radio this no. morning, actually. Oh, that looks no. I just got anyway, guys. Sorry. Pretty sure, I, I gave all this to Tiff. Not the you gave that to Tiff. Yeah. All of years that years ago. That, that's some I nice stuff you that, gave her. I don't know about that, but the furniture, this stuff, I'm I gave her from our basement. That's that's some nice stuff you gave I her. I know. Years ago, she had she's setting it up in her new house. Anyway, guys, not the best intro to the vlog. I'm sorry. Uh, I I haven't vlogged all day. It's already six nineteen. Anyway, I heard it on the radio today, and then somebody yeah. sent me this. The city of Scranton wins life size Dundee Award. From the hit show, The Office. Super Senator. Uh, Scranton, Lackawanna. Use your thumb, ma. Come on. 2021, baby. Oh. Meredith and Oscar. Oh, Oscar. Okay. Meredith and Oscar. What a weird combination. <laughs> Meredith cool? and Oscar. Oh, here it is. Didn't really interact all that much in the show. My volume doesn't work for my car. Okay, yeah. Mom, we have to go get the needles anyway. Oh, it's snowing. We have to. Good. Cool. Snow is... We, we, we've seen snow. Guys, um... Your ass is so rude. Busy day today. Oh, I mean, I woke up late. I went to bed around 5, 5.30 in the by morning. By accident. By accident. No, I was playing me. Xbox. You said No, by I was accident. playing Warzone. You told me I was playing accident. Xbox and Warzone. And... Hold on. Let's get inside and then we'll, uh, and then we'll keep talking, all right? Okay. We're in Walmart. Needles have been purchased. Sorry. We can get our fix. This is a beautiful thing. <laughs> now, as for Hunter, for anyone here for the first time, these are not for us, unfortunately. They are for Mr. Pants. He is the Beaties. So it's for his insulin. I don't think that's going to be big enough for the tree top one. Mom's Daddy buying more totes, guys. Tote. Anyway, yeah, the vlog started late tonight because <laughs> I had to edit. Actually, I recorded and edited. <laughs> My Lenovo earbuds review. This is gonna go on the back seat. <laughs> I don't know, will it? Are, are you seriously asking or is this a joke? No, I'm asking. It's for the top of the tree. Do you think it's gonna fit? Here? Actually, I don't know if this will fit. That's pretty big, Mom. I don't know if the top of the tree will fit in this. Wait, why don't you already have storage for the tray? Dad doesn't like to put the top in the box because it gets squished. Who cares? Just squish it. You should but see my Christmas tree. Enough. Please. I'll get Have it. Have you seen it. my tree, Mom? I Thankfully, it's fine so far. I think that's going to fit my car. Are we, are we getting this or no? Yeah. All right. I think that's going to fit my car. Don't forget the lid. No. People do all the time, I'm sure. Me included. Speaking of that, Mom has a funny story. Not a story, just a <laughs> comment. It's, it, it's, it's the truth, too. Tell him. Dad used to buy cards without the envelopes. He'd go and get the card and forget to get an envelope. <laughs> I always forgot to get an envelope. Wait, I don't know why. 
Now I don't, you know? Well, number one, I don't buy a lot of cards. I, I think cards are a waste of money. Unless it's like a really special occasion or if I'm putting like something special in it. I mean, I, I, I like getting cards. I don't like giving cards too many times. I don't think it's gonna fit in here, but if not, I'll use it. Anyway, I, I used to get cards without the envelopes. Does anyone else do that? Come on, I, I'm sure somebody in the comments agrees. I was just here the other day, by the way. God, it's nice to vlog in Walmart with a nice camera. Patrons, I promise I'm, I'm gonna get a camera like this for the vlogs very soon. I just like using different cameras for different vlogs. For anyone who does retail arbitrage, always come to the clearance section. You can actually flip a lot of things. What? There's nothing here. <laughs> exactly. But the thing is, make sure, hold on, check this out. All right, so whether you're selling on eBay or Amazon, <laughs> Me? I just recited the clip. So, let me open up eBay as an example, okay? There's eBay. Tap the camera icon up there, right? Scan the barcode. This is a great tip for you guys. All right, barcode is scanned. It shows you results, right? Go up to filter. Show more. Sold. That way, you're actually seeing what these things are selling for. This recently sold for $16. Walmart wants $10.50, so it's, it's not worth it. But another tip for you, open the Walmart app, okay? No, come here, come here, come here. I've seen this before. Open up their barcode scanner, right? I've seen this. Scan that, because these stickers are not always right. This one probably is right, because it was, um, Printed on January 8th, 2021, and it is indeed 1050. But, but the point is, but the point is, it's cheaper here than it is on eBay. So let's go to Amazon seller app. Why Amazon? Because you, you can get more money on Amazon. Really? If, if it's even on there. Are you selling Amazon? So again, scan that. Um, they want $19.95 plus shipping. So Gross proceeds? See, see. Sixteen fifty-seven. Bear with me, okay? You tap the price. Let me let me lower the brightness here. So cost of purchase, right? This cost me what? Seventeen fifty? No. Ten fifty here. You put the price in. Ten fifty. Net proceeds six dollars and seven cents after you sell it on Amazon. So if you buy like five or six of these and sell all of them on Amazon, easy profit. I'm just throwing all that out there just in case you guys are wondering how this works. This, this isn't the best example, because again, you're making like $6, but there are some high ticket items out there, so that's why it pays. It quite literally pays to come here as often as you can, and especially Goodwill. There's a lot of good stuff there. Eventually, I'm gonna need a fridge with a transparent door for my gaming room. Wow, come here, look at this. Isn't this cool? I like that. I mean, my, my fridge I have now is fine. It's a little noisy, but I would definitely like a clear one to put on top of my butcher block. All your stuff would have to be facing the right way. Yeah, well, soon enough. Soon enough, guys. I just, I just got to order my new desk soon. So it turns out Autonomous does want to sponsor me, but on the list of products that they cannot send is the Tabletop XL. So, so unfortunately, they, they can't sponsor the desk that I want, so I'm going to have to buy it myself, which isn't a big deal. Does your app have a scanner? But I'm still going to get them to sponsor, like, a chair, because I want to build some kind of relationship with them. Does your app have a scanner? Scanner? Yeah, yeah, come here. Come on. So cute. Ten ninety seven. Eight ninety four. Oh. But do I need them? No. No, but get them anyway. No. It's gonna be a lot of work. And it's in the furniture section. So you have to assume a lot of this stuff is heavy. I just like stuff like, uh, wh wh why am I vlogging this? Onward. That's mom's tree at Valentine's work. Valentine's Day tree. It's a Valentine's Day tree? Yep. Whatever makes you happy, mom. Speaking of making you happy, Look at all this ribbon, Mom. I know, it's glitter too. Pretty. Oh, I'm looking for something. Come on, dude. God, this camera's so good at focusing. Um, Look at that. What is her name? DIY. 
Look at that shallow depth of field. You see that? Dreaming. You're not, you're not looking. I don't know what that You're means. looking at the ribbon and not the camera for some reason. Oh, sorry. I was demonstrating <laughs> the depth of field. Look. There it is. Look at it now. Oh, it's a king. Ooh, that is cool. Very nice. That's amazing. Like like this. Mom's getting fabric cut. She's not the nicest person. She's not very personable. Like it, it's not that hard to talk to people properly. Ooh, someone's playing music. That's what I like to hear, baby. Dear Lord. Lord have mercy, that was a long trip. That turned into a really long Walmart trip. That's about eating Hunter. Here. Yes. Um, on your door. On your door. Mine's getting low. On your door. <gasps> Look, that's open cut cuts. open. <laughs> Don't forget to sanitize, guys. Mom, steady. <laughs> what was this, a quarter? I got them from work. I give them to the drivers, put in their trucks. <laughs> I was thinking about this. <laughs> you me. What? What? What were you thinking of? <laughs> What's that scene in Scary Movie? What Remember? Scene? He's like, I have a month. No, he's like, I have a week. I have a week to come up with a $1.50 or something. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. It just it makes me laugh. What is that? <laughs> I love that movie. Guys, oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mom spent a lot of money at Walmart. How much did you spend, Ma? I don't know, how much should I spend? 130, oh, 128, your number. It's my number, guys, 128. Okay, and get you, your phone out. And if you know why, no, let's go, let's go order in the parking lot. That way it's more special. Jesus. We were there for a while, it's already eight o'clock. Yeah, you know, I got to your house around six, like 5.30, six o'clock. So we were there probably for like an hour and a half. I'm going if they're not going. I hate that when someone right behind you wants to go. What's funny is, did we, you see me? We went there for like a few things. We I went ended there up for cat food and needles. <laughs> yeah, we, we we ended up doing a full shopping trip. Guys, I bought some really crappy LEDs. Uh, I'm gonna unbox them in the parking lot. They were so cheap, I figured why not either for the gaming room or the office. But you never know. So I know, exactly. I'll explain when we get there. No, no. it's too much pressure. Let's order on the app. Let us order. I don't like ordering at the drive-thru. It's very stressful at Target. Mm -hmm. Taco Bell. Or Taco Bell. Taco Bell. There's <laughs> actually not a lot of people for a Friday night. That's interesting. it's late. Yeah. Just kidding. Not really for Friday. Taco okay. Nacho Fry. Get off the camera. Are you texting Kareen? Yeah. Kareen, I'm sorry I never texted you back. It's nothing personal. I just, I'm not a big texter. I mean, I am, but sometimes I'm not. Like, sometimes I just forget. So, so sorry. But trust me, your package will make it. I promise. Ba da ba ba ba. Hey, I'm in loving it. All right, recap: Taco Bell, three orders of nacho fries. They're all for mom. No. No. Three nacho cheese Doritos Locos tacos for dad. Nachos Bell Grande for mom. Hold the beans. <laughs> Steak quesadilla combo for moi with a nacho cheese Doritos Locos taco, Diet Pepsi for dad. One free reward, chips and nacho cheese sauce for mom. And finally for me, one chicken chalupa supreme modified with, what did I get? Spicy ranch. Now, am I going to have all that tonight? I don't know. I've had an egg roll all day long. That's all, guys. David. Just an egg roll. Well, no, that's the thing. I don't. I don't mind eating bad if I don't really have much stuff to begin with, you know. Because I'm, I'm still losing weight. Yes, I could be losing faster, but hey, weight loss is weight loss, baby. All right, to kill some time, this Taco Bell usually takes a little while. This is the ball. Th this. This. Yeah. This. This is the ball I light. This is the light I bought. A UV light. This is the ball I. How light. much do you think this was? Dollar. Twelve eighty eight. I don't think that's Sweet. crazy. This is a brand I typically don't buy, but they had a bunch of stuff cheap. Again, I, I don't care. But guys, let's face it, more importantly, I bought fabric to make this. 
Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, like, as long as it puts out UV light, that's all I care Isn't about. Isn't pretty? So this will probably go, and you can actually mount this on the wall, which is pretty cool. Can I do this for one second so I can see? What's, okay. what's, what's the first thing you said when I showed you the UV light? Sense it yourself, though. Use different words. I said you're gonna use it to find your mm -mm. <laughs> on your sheets. Stop! That's gross. So and there you it is. Said it's probably on Maui's face. A UV <laughs> head. Light. I did. UV light, guys. Pretty cool. So I think this is gonna go in the gaming room. My seatbelt's off. Why is my seatbelt off? Do, do you have an outlet in here? Seriously, do yeah, you or now? Do. No, like an actual outlet. Yeah. I think so. Where? Do you? Do you? Or is it in the back? Why do they put a zip tie on there? I'm almost positive I have an outlet. Anyway, guys, there it is. Got a power switch over here. I think this, you know what? I think this is gonna go on my butcher block when I move it towards the back of my gaming room. Or the front. on the butcher block. Depending on how you look at it. What um, is this thing? So this is gonna go near my fridge. What is this thing? Which should be pretty cool. That's an iPod Nano. Whose is it? Is it mine? Is Sounds it any, quality. Is Hear it that? Engraved? Listen. I'm sure it's fine. Why is there a Nano in there? It's an iPod Nano. I love this design. Is oh. it mine? God, I miss iPods. Is look it engraved? That. That's beautiful. Is it Dad's? Whose is it? Probably Dad's. I could have sworn there's an outlet in here. It's okay. I'll do it at home. I'll do it at home. Not a big deal, Maya. Not a big deal. Maybe it's back here. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm sorry for the red light. This person's brake lights. There you go. I think it's back here, David. Is there one back there? I don't know. Where's my freaking phone, Mom? <laughs> that might be an outlet. Remember, <laughs> we, we, we had to check in. I'm pretty sure there's an outlet. Okay. No. I will say, though. There's a lot of USBs in here. USB-C. That is so cool <laughs> that you have USB-C in your but car. But no outlet? Oh, how about in here? I'm all, I could have sworn there's an outlet in this car somewhere. I just think it's cool that your phone, your car even has an outlet. If it does. What's 12 volt? No, that's the, oh no, that's, oh no, that's the cigarette thing. Uh -huh. Cigarette lighter, you know, we don't call it cigarette lighter nowadays. We just call it car adapter. I don't know what people call it. And this is the second thing I bought, guys. This looks so much like my Philips Play Bar, which I think is like 60 or $70 per light. I got this for 10. Yes, it's not even gonna compare to the quality that Philips Hue gives you, but I think this is gonna go in my office behind my secondary display, which I will be buying in a few days. Why is my ass so hot? <laughs> I don't know, baby, I don't know. Oh Jesus, do we just give your name? Yeah. Uh, it's under Hunter this time. Okay. No, seriously, it is. Yeah. I'm getting really mad right now. <gasps> What's it, she? It's like June Mead. Guys, I'm doing unboxings in the car. <laughs> it looks exactly like the Philips Hue Play Bar. That is funny. Just for like a 50 of the or, cost? yeah, for like 50 or 60 dollars less. Not to be fair, it probably doesn't look as good. But as long as it lets out decent light behind my monitor, that's, that's all I want. And you get a little remote right there. And a little stand. So if you want to stand it vertically. Yeah, but they're hiring if you want a job. Hi, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? Stand it I'm vertically. Well, We're picking up an order for David, a mobile order. Or horizontal. Thank you. She sounds thrilled. <laughs> she sounds so, so thrilled. That's pretty cool. You can sign it vertically or horizontally. Sorry. Is that a problem in front of us? Can talk about But the real question is, <laughs> do you guys care? I don't think I've ever unboxed tech in the car before like this, though. So, I wanted to mix it up. Plus, I started later today, so I'm going to try to get to the one hour mark. It looks disgusting. Well, there you go, baby. There you go. <laughs> Whose pizza is that? Some girl I follow in Hawaii. No, Alaska. She is was. that cucumber? I don't know. Who puts cucumber oh. on a pizza? I was thinking it was pickles. Where does it end? If it is pickles... Well, they might be vegetarian because look at the other pizza. Is that mushroom or... It's all, no, there's, there's definitely beef. Oh, okay. 
pigs. I think there's beef right there. She lives in Alaska, it's beautiful. I've always wanted to live in Alaska because their daytime is night mm -hmm. for a while. I think that's the coolest thing. Okay, this bag's annoying. I'll see you guys at mom and dad's house. God, I'm hungry. <laughs> and I gotta be honest, I did buy some sun chips, mm -hmm. which isn't a terrible snack, right? Sun chips? No. Good reflexes, <laughs> Deb. I'm used to you. I thought you got another package outside. I was like, what is that big box? Hi, Dad. Hi, Debbie. Ooh, lunch with Debbie. Ooh. Nice Ooh. new stuff. You just hit your butcher block. Uh, where's the cabinet going? Butcher block and handle it. Is that going back? Over here. Oh, good. Very nice, Dad. How did all this dust get in here? Dad, where, where's this from? The, the butcher block. Uh, Sears. Sears? Sears. Made Why do you say things weird, right? You, made you, you in that? That's not from Sears, that's from Home Depot. Well, it's that's Craftsman. Craftsman. That's Craftsman. Okay, so where's it from? Home Depot. Lowe's. Okay, Home Depot. Or Lowe's. Oh, no. Lowe's. Lowe's. <laughs> you guys, you people. <laughs> you people. This is nice. Thank you. And where's this from? Lowe's. Lowe's. Everything's from Lowe's. Wait, we're talking about the butcher. Oh, so everything's from Lowe's. Oh, yeah, so very Lowe's. nice. Yes. Can we eat, please? Heat lamp? I have a problem with that. Very nice. Excuse me. What the? What'd you do? <laughs> Can't tell. No, don't. That's <laughs> weird. Look at all that Christmas stuff. That's that actually not that bad. That's not even half of it. Oh. There's more. <laughs> oh, that's more than half, I think. I'm organizing. I am organizing. I see that. that they were out of nacho fries. Wait they a minute. They better not been out of tarantula how fries. How Just did you kidding. get the rest of the totes back there, Dave? Dad calls them tarantula fries tarantula for some reason. So I don't you know, know why. Yo, that's made. smart. Yeah. Look, power strip on the I wall. I like that. It fits. Very nice, Dad. Alright, let's go eat. For God's sake, I am so hungry. Okay. Look, Mother. Mother! Mother! Face Motel. Debra, Such a good show. That's them. It'd be raining. I think Hunter just pooped. Come on, Hunter. Inside. Come on. Come on, baby. Hunter! He's like, no. Hunter, come on, Hunter. <laughs> he looks so happy. Hi, Hunter. How are you? Oh, you're so wet. Hi. Uh, Hi, baby. Did you go poopies? You feel better? Did you go poop? I went poop at Walmart. <laughs> Stop. TMI. Hunter, Sunny, you want some Taco Bell? Yeah. All right, come on. Go, 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 go. I just adjusted the feet. Oh, God. Hurry up. Hit the road, Jack. Go, Hunter. Go, 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 go. Yeah, that's mud. Oh my god, it's raining. That's mom. Oh. Careful, careful, I slipped. <laughs> what? We're going to house. You and dad are made for each other. Why? Who wipes their feet? Uh, you see the meeting he's called? <laughs> what meeting? Oh. Hi, Keys. Hey, Autumn. Timber. Hi, Tim. Tim, take my bag. Timber, you could have easily eaten the Taco Bell. Hi, Shane. Good boy, Hunter. Where's Fireball? Fireball! Fire! Oh my god, guys. I just want food right now. Like, that, that's, that's all I want. I am so hungry. Quick Walmart haul. Got some eggs. Six eggs, guys. Six eggs. Because that's all I need, you know? Because I got this. Shout out to Jenna Fisher. Pam Beasley. You're never going to see this. But she did a paid promotion on Instagram for Just Crack an Egg. Proof that advertising works. Well, of course it works, but yeah, there you go. I got some of these meals. These are actually really good and cheap. Each of them, I believe, is only $2.88. There's Fireball over there. Grilled chicken marinara with Parmesan. And I like to uh, have these with some crushed red pepper. So I got three of those and one of these. Never tried this one. I don't think I have anyway. Chicken margarita with balsamic. So, easy dinner one night or easy lunch. They're not like incredibly filling, but they're also not incredibly bad for you. Oh, can you? Please? I was just showing them that. Thank you, thank you. You can put your eggs in the fridge. Thanks, Pam. Guys, check this out. There is barely anything to this quesadilla. <laughs> like, are the... <laughs> Usually it's thin, but this is what really thin. So for now... Wait, I can't hear you, honey. My microwave's on. 
I'm gonna focus. I can't hear you. Microwave's on. I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna my chicken chalupa. Oh my god, he's gonna make me come in there. Wait, Dane. I said I was watching you. Ah, oh. where? I'm watching you. Oh, okay. So you knew we were okay. Mm. Yeah, I couldn't see. Dave was making fun of me. Mmm. So good. Still can't hear. Her rain. So the sauces are now. Oh God, no! Did you forget the sauces again? Stupid Emma Eppers. Here's, here's some in here. Good. I need some. I'm, I'm gonna take a fire since I know you don't like fire. Okay. Can I try some natural fries? Please. You're, that, that's your order. I didn't get them. That's for you. I don't know if you're doing that still. <laughs> Hi, Autumn. That's a rare um, occurrence on the vlog. All right, now they got some fire sauce on there, baby. Mm. Hey, man. You're welcome, honey. Oh. <laughs> hey, Autumn. You want food? Hi. Oh, watch him. You're so pretty. Hi. You're so cute. You want a piece of chicken? All right, I'll give, I'll give you a small piece of chicken. Hey, what's he eating? Oh, He's licking the leftover cheese, yeah. Jepla. Okay, you know what? Okay, one second. I'm doing mine. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. And I had a free taco. Is this it? Well, not free taco, but oh, here it is, baby. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, David. Is that rude? No, Mom. Mom, you're good. Hey, you bought. This is true. Doritos Locos Taco. Who's a fan? Let me know. Let me know. I, I gotta heat this up, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bite anyway. Mm. I'm gonna take a bite anyway. Mm. Mm. Hey, there's no sauces in here. Mm. They're all hot. Oh, thank you. Mm. They're so good. Mm. Oh my god, got cheese everywhere. These are good as is, you know? But, in my opinion, what makes them? Oh, yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's the cheese. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Hey, Bob. Mm. Oh, baby, baby, baby. All right, guys. You've seen enough. I'll see you later. Hey, Maui. I'm home. And I get a whiskey. I'm watching Danny and Logan play some Overwatch. Oh, tonight's games. Hold on. So, it's no secret. I love my Series X, I love Game Pass. And I am indeed staying true to my word and saying I have found many games that I'm playing now that I wouldn't have found if it wasn't for my Series X and Game Pass. And even better, I'm actually finding games that I want to continue to play on stream. I literally stopped playing last night. A Plague Tale Innocence. Incredible experience so far. I literally stopped playing on Chapter 4 because I was thinking, wait a minute, David, let's stream this. Your chat room will love this because it's just a really good fun, enjoyable experience, and I want to share it with you guys. And then of course I'll do some Warzone tonight. Oh, Rebirth, Solos, so much fun. It is indeed already 10-16. Oh my lord, there you go, there you go baby, it's not that hard, is it? But before we start streaming, before I start streaming, let's test out these lights. Let me close the stream. Diva's cool, but dear lord, those gun sound effects over and over again. Love you, Diva. All right, here we go. This is a very, very cheap UV light. As long as it works, that's all I care about. That's right, they gave me that stupid zip tie. So dumb. Why? Why? And it's really tight. Got it. Let's plug this in. Let's use the battery charger outlet. 
right over here. I do hear something moving in and out of the tube or maybe down here, I don't know. Let's turn these lights off. Hey, as long as it turns on, that's all I care about. There's nothing fancy about this whatsoever. As long as it works, here we go. If I can see, I can't see what I'm doing. What the? F I'm dumb. There, there's a there's a cap on the. Okay, everything's fine, guys. Relax. Woo! Oh baby! Oh my god! Wow! That makes my glasses feel so weird. I have UV protection on the glasses. Maybe that's why it's like a weird haze. Wow. That is cool looking. It looks actually quite different on camera than it does in person. Yeah, what's with those marks? I don't know. It's a cheap light, I don't care. But hey, wow, it works. It's making my eyes do weird things. So maybe I should shut this off for now. But yeah, this is gonna look really good in the background of my streams. So, awesome. I don't regret that one bit. As I slowly blind myself. This is that Philips Play Bar knockoff. This is USB. So let's go plug it into one of my several USB desk grommets on my autonomous desk. I love it so much, guys. Very, very convenient. Okay, another tire, no, actually no. This one's a little twisty tie, which is cool. And by the way, check it out. Patron saw it, but I'm gonna show you guys as well. I got myself this, a regular sized Nest Hub. I love it. Very, very convenient to have on my office desk. So now I have a Nest Hub Max in my kitchen and a regular sized Nest Hub in here for seeing my doorbell, changing my thermostat, seeing my cameras, my notifications, my, my pictures, news stories throughout the day, and just general Q and A's that will come up throughout the day. I love it. Technology is a great thing, guys. Embrace it, you know? Do not be afraid of technology. I'm saying it because I'm sure there's somebody watching. I oh, know I don't want that stuff in my house. Come on, baby, come on. Come on. All right, let's plug this in. All right. That's not bad. It, it, I mean, it, it doesn't give off that premium glow like the Philips Hue product does. But considering I got this for, what was it? $10? That's not bad at all. And keep in mind, it does work with a remote, which I hope I brought home. Hold on. Give me one second. I got it. I got it. Take the little tab out. Let's hope this works out of the box. Power off, power on, very nice. Green, oh my God, wow, blue. Dude, I am genuinely surprised. Sure, I'm not gonna get like, you know, the, the fancy tasks and everything that I get from Philips Hue, but considering that this was $10? Dude, what a steal. What an absolute steal. Unfortunately, Walmart only had one left. So I'm gonna have to check again and see if they get any more in stock. And if they're all online, then I'll buy a handful of them because yeah, this is not bad. I am legit surprised by this. It goes to show you, don't knock the cheap products. And I'll say it again, it's not nearly as fancy as Philips Hue with the software and automation and all that stuff. But for a $10 light bar, this is damn nice. Whew, what a nice surprise. Many hours later. Boom. Yeah, the sun's coming up. Guys, I did it again. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 7.06. 7.06 in the morning. Guys, thank you so much for another fantastic stream. It was a lot of fun. A Plague Tale Innocence on Xbox One X, which by the way, Xbox Series X loads significantly faster thanks to the custom SSD. Just seriously, if you're thinking about getting a Series X and load times are important to you, which they should be, get it.
It's worth it. Trust me. Anyway, the, the, the game still performed beautifully on Xbox One X, and, it, and oh my god, it looks so good. So, so good. Um, what a great game. And I think the chat enjoyed it. So it was it was definitely nice to mix up some uh, games tonight. Then I went solo for the rest of the night in Warzone, which may have been a mistake. I missed the squad. I just wanted to try Rebirth solos, which is a lot of fun. I got one win, finally, at what, like, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning? Finally got my win. Very frustrating. I ran into two cheaters. Imagine actually cheating in an online game. Like, you're a sad, sad person. You are quite literally a waste of resources. If you vanish tomorrow, the world wouldn't bat an eye. That's, that's how significant you are in this world. You're not significant at all. Harsh words? Yes. Because if you cheat in video games, that means you cheat your way through life. You look for shortcuts. You're lazy. Just gonna throw that out there. Think about it. Hey, I'm real. No filters here. No filters. Anyway, guys, really fun times tonight. Thank you so much for your support. And Heidi, happy birthday. I hope you had a great birthday. All the, all the cake and the pizza you ate. And um, hey, you look, you look good for 24, you know? Guys, thank you so much. I need sleep. I'm gonna knock myself out in bed. I'm so excited to go to bed. <laughs> oh, thank God I don't have a life on the weekends, right? I literally just sleep and stream on the weekends. But during the week, I'm busy, you know? So this is, this is definitely my downtime. I'll see you at some point later today. Whenever I wake up. If I wake up. Hopefully I wake up. I'll wake up. Happy Saturday, everybody. Come here. How you doing? How you doing today, guys? Guess what time it is? Let's ask you know who. Actually, no. Let's ask the other one. Check this out. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 4.58 p.m. 4.58 p.m. Guys, look at this. Okay, yeah, first of all, I know it's very, very late, but I'll make it clear. I work hard during the week. During the weekend is my excuse to be lazy. Like I said last night, or this, this morning rather, I, I pretty much just sleep and stream on the weekends now, which I'm okay with, you know? Streaming is mentally draining for anyone who's never done it. It's actually a lot of work, but I love it. I love streaming for you guys. But yeah, it kind of destroys my weekend. Anyway, come here. Check it out. One HomePod, two HomePods. Yes, I have my stereo HomePods set up in here, and guys, it sounds incredible. And check it out. My Apple TV 4K is now in here, right down there. Temporary placement, temporary placement until I get the proper furniture and a longer HDMI cable. Actually, no, the cable's fine. I just need better furniture. I was watching the doc yesterday. So let me load up something right on Netflix. My Netflix should be canceling, I think, in what, like 10 days or so? My God, you can even feel the bass on that. And please, for the love of God, ignore this for the time being. I know it's ugly. I'm not a big fan of this brown furniture anymore. And what's funny is, I actually ordered a 12 cube organizer in white on Amazon. And the dimensions were really close to what I needed. Because you gotta keep in mind, this TV is temporary. The 65 inch TV from my living room is eventually gonna go in here, eventually. Because at some point I'm gonna get a much bigger TV in there. Stay tuned, I'm so excited. But it depends on a few things first, you know? Gotta spend my money wisely, let's just say that. So anyway, I have to plan for the future. I need furniture that's gonna fit and not really interfere too much with the 65 inch TV. Because currently, if you look at the heights of the HomePod, it just meets the TV. But thankfully, these are wide enough where the HomePods can go on the side. And that's how they should be anyway. The speaker should never be like directly under the TV or anything. You need that nice stereo room filling surround sound. And yes, surround sound. The Apple TV updates with the HomePods actually supports um, Atmos, Dolby Atmos, which is so cool. Now, granted, I don't need Dolby Atmos in my office because I work in here, but you guys know me. I always have something playing in the background, so I figured why not go all out with my HomePods. And honestly, I've had these dual HomePods for a while, and they have not gotten much usage. So now I'm literally going to be using these every single day I'm in here, at least five days out of the week. And I used them all day yesterday, and they sounded incredible. Anyway, with my new furniture, I want something a little lower, because 
this is currently 55 inch uh, in size diagonally 65 inch TV is going to go right about here and here I have the, I have the measurements saved to my iPhone and the cubes I got were just meeting that so in other words these home pods would be blocking the TV a little bit and I, I didn't want that I just didn't want the home pods actually interfering with the visuals on the TV so I'm still in the market for something shorter nice and wide but not too short most pieces of furniture I find are just so short like way down here that's way way too low for me and if I do find nice tall furniture it's usually not wide enough it's usually to like right here I need something that goes out to here and unfortunately the cubes are the best thing I could find so far but I don't give up I don't give up there is something out there for me I will find it I never give up when it comes to furniture and desks and all that stuff so yeah more on that in a bit or later because I have something else to show you guys now. This is kind of funny and troublesome at the same time. Okay, so you know that power desk hub thing that I was ordering for the desk to throw off the illusion of this being misaligned? <sighs> well, I still want it because my iPad hasn't been on all week and I need power and I don't want to run a lighting cable across my desk or down here and under. That's just gaudy. I need, I need power right here. Plus, it's really, really useful to have power at each corner of the desk. Anyway, FedEx tracking said it was going to arrive Thursday, it never came, Friday it never came, today it came, right? I go downstairs to pick it up, and I see this. <laughs> Autonomous accidentally sent me the Avo chair in blue. Why? I'm going to sneeze. Give me a second here, guys. Anyway, I'm currently in the works of forming a partnership with Autonomous, right? And ironically, one of the products I can't get, as I told you in Walmart, is the XL tabletop. Not a big deal, I'll buy it myself, it's not the end of the world, you know? And on that list as well is this, the Avo chair. So it crossed my mind real quick, I'm like, well, maybe they just surprised me and just sent me something to get my sponsorship started with them, you know? Because they just want me to start working with them. Well, no, that's, that's definitely not the case. Somebody picked the wrong product, and not only that, it's in blue. Yes, I, I, would, I would keep it if it wasn't black, but I'm not a big blue guy, and plus, I, I, don't, I don't feel right them sending me the wrong product. Like, this, this is a $200 chair. Anyway, low battery, I just want to update you on my day. I'll see you later. Coffee time. All right. All done playing Xbox for a little while. Guys, it's already 7.14. Today has truly gotten away from me. That's what happens when you get to bed at like 9 in the morning. Ignore the flicker of the LEDs. That is not happening in person, trust me. Anyway, for those who don't know, M. Night Shyamalan's Servant Season 2 debuted last night. And let me tell you, if you have not watched the show yet, please do yourself the favor and watch it. I'm actually going to restart Season 1 while eating dinner in a few minutes because it's that good. It is so, so good. It's creepy. It's a straight up mystery. And well, you're just constantly asking yourself, what the hell is going on right now? It's so good. Check it out. I'm excited to go through it again. Z! What's up, dude? How you doing? Yeah, go ahead, plop. Good boy. Every time. Every time. Hey! You're such a sweet key. Right? Yeah, you're such a good boy. Hi. How's your day going? Hopefully more productive than mine. Guys, don't look. <laughs> he just plopped again. A hey, zero. Oh, I'll feed you, okay? Yes, I actually, actually bought food at Walmart last night. By the way, I'm not going out tonight, guys. Not doing Target. Not doing Sheets. Not doing Wawa. Because it's so late and I have my leftover... Um, talk about quesadilla, which I haven't even opened yet. That's tonight's dinner with some kind of side. The quesadilla honestly isn't too filling, but I'll have like vegetables or something on the side or Texas toast. I don't know. I don't know. Give me some space. However, I will be reading your YouTube comments in a minute or two. But first, I got to put my clothes in the dryer. Yep. Today's laundry day, guys. How exciting, right? Very, very exciting. 
Gotta stay fresh. Gotta stay clean. Can't be getting lazy. <laughs> I just hit myself in the face. Are you guys, are you guys looking at my butt? All right, all right. Don't be weird. <sighs> Plus, guys, I was at Walmart last night for, what, a good hour and a half, two hours with mom, Walla Mama, which I didn't expect to do. So I kind of got everything I needed to get, you know? And a quick update on the water heater. It's been absolutely perfect, guys. I love it. It's so, so good. Look at all that lint. Isn't that satisfying? I guess I could go out because apparently I'm out of uh, bounce thingies. But I do have one more left. So that's good. Typically I do laundry once every, I think, two weeks? Yeah, I think so. Why isn't this... Oh, I'm an idiot. How about you set the timer first, David? And then you push the button. Scared me for a second. And shout out to my dude, David Spector. Congratulations on your new property, dude. I, I was just thinking of you because I know you just you just got um, a new washer and dryer, right? Enjoy it. Enjoy it. And good luck. Tummy? Tummy? Where's your meower? <laughs> Tummy? Yeah? Here. Tommy? Yeah, good boy. Zero, you're staying inside, all right? Just eat inside. Be cool, be cool. Mmm. God, that looks good. That looks so good. Guess who's is who's? <laughs> this one's for zero. Cause he's an outside cat and he needs to eat more. And Maui, well, let's just say he's a little thick boy. And plus he doesn't eat it all anyway. I know. Oh, your Maui's back. Just in time. Tony? Yeah? Here you go. <laughs> Enjoy. You're so cute. Maui, Tony? Say please. Tony? All right, here you go. Enjoy. I love my keys. What's funny is, when Zero's done his food, he typically goes over to Maui's plate, and then Maui just walks out of the way and Zero starts eating his food. Maui doesn't put up a fight, which is a good thing, you know? He's willing to share. <laughs> Or he just doesn't know how to stand his ground, I don't know. But like I said, Zero is an outside cat, so I typically try to feed him more, because I don't, I don't know what he eats out there. And plus, let's face it, this guy, this guy's plumpy. And he's not even eating it, whoa! Maui, eat your food, dude! It's exactly what I'm talking about, he doesn't always eat. I mean, he loves his dry food, but he doesn't always eat the uh, wet food. Maui! I know, look at him, he's a thick boy. Look at that pudge. Look at that pudge. I love you, dude. You're a good key. <sighs> I still can't believe Autonomous accidentally sent me a chair. Like a 200 plus value, like, chair. Like, instead of a $50 power desk hub thingy. So yeah, I'm going to write them tomorrow. It is what it is. That's a good problem to have. I guarantee you the average person would just keep the chair. And honestly, I can't say I would blame them. Like if I was in the market for a blue chair, gotta be honest with you guys, I, I would probably keep it and just not say anything. I mean, I, I think I think everyone has got sent something by accident, right? Shout out to Danny. Didn't you get two of something 
once instead of one and you kept both, dude, I would have done the same thing. But I don't need a blue chair. Blue chairs are blah, 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 blah. Um, I, I like black or gray. So I guess I'll contact Autonomous and they'll arrange the FedEx pickup. Then hopefully, hopefully they'll expedite me the power desk thing that I need. So, patrons stay tuned. And I will be ordering, most likely, an LG 27 inch 4K display for my office in like the coming days. It could be as early as maybe Tuesday. Um, shout out to a Slim NY in my Twitch chat. He donated $400 in recent weeks. And I promised him all that money would go towards something I truly need. And I actually do need a secondary display. I love my iMac, it's a beautiful display. Probably the best display I have in this house, you know, out, outside of my TVs. Um, but as a graphic designer, a web designer, someone who's constantly managing emails and social media, I need more real estate. So yeah, I mean, having that second display is going to be very nice. And plus, let's face it, I have the room for it now. This L-shaped desk is massive. So that should be cool. All right, let me throw my quesadilla into the toaster oven and then I'll read your comments. And by the way, side note, I actually got Apple TV on my Xbox Series X. It's kind of ironic if you think about it, but at the same time, it's really cool how far we've come with all these companies cooperating. That's a good word, cooperating with um, one another. Because think about it, Amazon doesn't need to be on devices powered by Microsoft and all that stuff. And Apple services don't need to be on a Microsoft powered device, but it is, you know? I, I, just, I just think that's really cool. We've come a very, very long way. Sorry, it's kind of dim in here. That helps a little bit. Okay, quesadilla is in the toaster oven. Like I said last night, it doesn't doesn't feel very filling. It's very thin this week. I love Taco Bell, but sometimes a quesadilla can be a little uh, lacking with ingredients. But it it tastes good, and I think I'll just make some minute rice with it. All right. Uh, comments. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go, baby. Daniel Bloom, the MX Master Mouse does have a Bluetooth function from the first one. I have that one, yeah. And it's even a symbol on the bottom, and the one, two, three function I use for different computers. I know, yeah, 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 Danny, I know. Trust me, I've had multiple people correct me. People don't always look at the comments before commenting themselves, which I understand. People don't have the time to do that. But yes, I was wrong about the Logitech Mouse last week. Those buttons on the side are not profiles. They're just for different devices. But in a way, they could be for different profiles if you, if you think about it. Like if one person uses this MacBook and the other person uses this MacBook Pro, then yeah, you could switch from one to two. And in a way, it's a different profile. But yes, on the same computer, no. So I was half wrong, half right, you know? But thank you. Boom! Nightfall. Look at David using that nice high-tech desk, and I'm over here using cardboard boxes for my desk like a schmuck. If that's true, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Like, you can get a really cheap desk from Ikea. <laughs> Hopefully you're kidding. You, you should not be working on cardboard boxes. Like, that, that's, that's sad, dude. And I'm not saying that to be insulting. Like, that, that's sad. That actually makes me sad. Get out there. Get a cheap Ikea tabletop for, like, 20 bucks and form your own legs with something. I don't know. But, yeah, dude, good luck. Good luck. That's, that's not right. Um, the real John Kofi. Another great vlog, David. I will probably try to get the autonomous desk. Love it. Yeah, dude, go for it. I love it. And sometimes they might accidentally send you a, a chair by accident. I don't know. Dylan Savoy. David's been hyped to do that desk intro for two months now. Ha ha ha. That's true, dude. That's true. I, I love the whole standing mechanism. Like, it's so cool. So, so cool. And I actually used it this week in terms of, like, standing. Boom. Michael Nguyen. Loving the minimal aesthetic looks of the Mac desk setup, David. The Logitech MX Mess is Bluetooth. The dongles for better connection and for multi-mice connection. I, I know, people. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm telling you. YouTube comments, they don't waste any time in trying to correct, trying to correct the creator. It's just a thing. Steven Lehman, I roll a stationary bike under my standing desk. It's awesome. That's very smart. Very, very smart, dude. Awesome. Uh, Lynn, I admire your patience whenever I, I get a package. I open it the second after I get it out of the mailbox or in my car after getting it to the post office. 
or getting it at the post office. But I guess since you get so many, you, you get kind of bored of it? No. Okay, so I did already respond to this. No, I, I, I don't get bored of packages. I love stuff. Like, I love stuff. I am materialistic to a certain regard. You know, I'm not going to lie about that. I think a lot of people are materialistic. They, they just are afraid to admit it out loud. Um, but no, I, I, don't, I don't get bored, Lynn. I, I'm just used to getting so many packages. And I've learned to be patient. You know, like, I quite literally wrapped my own iPhone for Christmas 2019. I wrapped my own Xbox Series X for Christmas 2020. I got my desk, which sat there for two days because I wanted to take my time and build it when the timing was right, you know? So, yeah, I'm, I'm very not scheduled. I like I like a routine of things, you know? I, I don't like opening something, then immediately moving on to something else. I like setting a day, like a time of day, um, to sit down and truly enjoy what I'm unboxing. So that's basically yeah, patience. And, you know, patience is the key word. I mean, the older you get, the more you realize it, it is just stuff, um, so you can wait. Benjamin Fakiti, Hi, David. I've been a patron since 2015 and watched every single one of your videos. Thank you very much, Benjamin. Recently, my girlfriend got addicted to your videos. I'm sorry to hear that. As well, David, learn to freaking speak. Jesus Christmas. So for the last year or so, you've been we've been watching you together every Friday and Monday. Thanks for your positivity and keeping us entertained. Greetings from Hungary. Very cool, Benjamin. Shout out to you and your girlfriend. Thank you so much. Boom. Parth decide. The button's at the bottom of the mouse. Me, 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 me. I know everything. I know, Parth. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. Get off me, people. <laughs> Seriously. Um, Saxman112. Dan. Good stuff as always, David. That new desk looks sick, by the way, as well as those LEDs. Right, dude? Thank you very much. Let me let me check the keys in here. I don't want to be burning it. It got a little dark. All right, last comment, and boom. Noah's Tech. Govi is all I use. I have seven of them, and... Love them, right, dude? Like, I am, I'm legit surprised by the quality of Govi products. I had no idea who, who, who Govi was. You know, I'll, I'll say it again. It doesn't really compare. Well, actually, maybe it does compare to Hue. It's just not nearly as expensive as Hue, you know? So, yeah, dude, I agree. Um, Noah's Tech, thank you very much for, for saying that. And because of my first impressions of the other Govi product, I can definitely see myself buying additional go of your products in the future. Anyway, guys, there you have it. This week's comments. Keep them coming. Thank you so much. What? I can't tell if this is a pleb status dinner or it's a good dinner. It's Taco Bell quesadilla with minute rice on a paper plate with some hot sauce packets and a glass of water. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's kind of like a bachelor dinner. There you go. And before I eat, I do have to read a quick YouTube comment that just came in, just came in. This is too funny. From Christmas 2014, part two, from Shana E. I'd first like to say your family is very delightful. You guys seem like a great bunch of people. Thank you. But I can't help but to think that this video was sponsored with all those gifts to influence people to buy just my own little conspiracy theory. But anyway, love your videos. First of all, Shana, your, your lack of punctuation is disgusting. But, uh, yeah, no, 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 <laughs> That's so funny how people create ideas in their head. <sighs> how do I even respond to that without sounding like a jerk? The day we have a sponsored Christmas video <laughs> is the day, <laughs> like, What? Thank you, Apple Watch. A little faster next time, please. Zero, I just let you out. You want to come back in? Okay. Good boy, Z. <laughs>
You're a funny cheek. Hi. You cleaning? You cleaning? God, you're so cute. Look at him, guys. He is legit. I know. Guys, it would be an understatement if I said tonight was a good night. Like, <laughs> so many good vibes. Like, so many good vibes. First of all, shout out to everyone who subbed, gifted subs, all that stuff. I think 17 subs tonight, which is amazing. That's a lot for little old me, you know? Little old affiliate me. So thank you guys very much. Thank you for the biddies, Logan. I appreciate it. And GG's to my dudes, Logan, Devin, and Elijah. We got five wins tonight in Warzone. Complete opposite of last night. Again, only one win, solo, which to be fair is more tough, I think. Biggest campers and all that stuff. Can't blame them. It's solos, you know. Uh, but yeah, five wins tonight in quads. I think that's above average. Like, five wins is really good. And I had such a good time streaming um, a Plague Tale Innocence for you guys. Like, it, it, it's a legit good quality game. Seriously, it's almost up there with The Last of Us. Almost up there. But man, such a good um, experience. Anyway, guys, it's nearly 6 in the morning. You know me. I'm not going to be asleep until at least 7 because i got to import these clips, watch some YouTube, have a bowl of cereal, and all that good stuff. Uh, but, yeah, later today is a new day, so I'll see you then. Hi, Mom. Hi. Why? How are you? Triggered. Nice hair. Thanks. David came in here and started destroying things. Okay, well, hold on. Tour time. Show them. Oh, yeah. First of all, it's getting back to normal. I forgot to take that down. Oh, the wreath's on my front door. Thank you. So I like have to take that tray? down tonight. I started it. It's not done yet. Very for nice. Valentine's Day. This is for Valentine's Day. I made everything. Wait, come here. Come here. I made everything. What? What's that look for you? Giving? you. Ew, what is that? Uh, Mom's not usually a big Valentine's Day fan. Because I'm but making with stuff. Crafting, you yes. are. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I wouldn't decorate good, good. if it wasn't. Like she usually hates Christmas. Why? Well, I made this book. I'm just kidding. Oh. Isn't it gorgeous? That's really nice. Classy. I know. It just it's triggers like me. Chic. It just that triggers me that it. you're not selling it, Dad making said, money. Dad said the same thing. Make that money, it's mom. Like, you need to sell that. Monetize. This is made. Isn't it pretty? That is nice. Simplistic. I know. All right, living room time. This I like a lot, because it's so much more open. Do you need life? Nah, nah, nah. Leave it off. You sure? It's off more, it's, it's more uh, classy that way. done collection. Very nice. I don't know if that's what I'd say. Wait, is any of this stuff from Gina, or is this all you? Um, I don't remember. I think most of her stuff was Christmas. Oh yeah, that's right. I like this. Me. Cheese. Cut cheese. There's a pumpkin in there. How random. Mm -hmm. This is really cool. Hey, I'm gonna put little stems in it of flowers. Very nice. Very simple. Easter dinner, probably? Yes. <laughs> Speaking of Easter, I didn't want to put my bunny away, so I put him out. Nice, fireplace nice. Is not, fireplace needs greenery and something else. It's not done yet, but I just, I still looking for some of my stuff. I guarantee you, if you had it completely your way, these wouldn't be here, the speakers. Oh, obviously. Yeah. You, you should you should try to hide them or something. Look, I like this. But they look okay. Look, I like this. Is something going on here? Nope. That's just what you do in the yep. pedestal? That's a farmhouse thing. Of course it is. My little tray. Very nice, very nice. This lovely decoration here. Is that from Anita's store? Yes. I this... don't know if you remember, but we did a video I a while remember. ago for her. Remember? I she said remember. it was a bunch of candles. Yeah. Yeah. I This decoration. <laughs> Hi, Shane. How are you? You're doing so much with your day. Hi. He's like, oh, you know. And I'm not done yet. I still have to put a couple things back. You go, oh my God, this is great. Have it back. You're so cute. Wow, there's a Christmas gift here. It's for Christopher Patrick. Oh, really? Cool. I gotta, I gotta get him something still. <laughs> and... I'll just get it when I find out that we're hanging out. Let's get this here. Is Danny's clock still up? Yep. Good. See, Danny? There you go. It's back. It was oh, so it was a way for Christmas. Yeah, makes sense. Speaking of Christmas, random tree. That has to go away, too. I don't get to... Oh, dear, we did a lot today. Good. Well, I don't get alerts anymore for, for your oven. Your, your range. I, it. I don't know. That's what is that? 
<laughs> oh, that's my dinner. That's your plate. Thank you very much for keeping it warm. Step aside. I was a little late tonight. Oh, editing really? and watching Servant on Apple what? TV. Oh my God, it's so good. You're not going to be able to touch this. Tonight's dinner. Ooh. Yo, the rice is dark AF. Yeah. It's a lot. Why? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. It's... Oh, touch your plate. Ow, that's, that was hot. You literally just told me. <laughs> that actually hurt. Mommy. <laughs> I don't, I don't listen, do I? I know, Dad made bread. God, that hurt. I told you don't touch the plate. I know, I still touched it. That is dark rice. <laughs> the chicken looks amazing, oh my god. The chicken is amazing. Stovetop stuffing. Chicken is super, super tender. Is, is it Amish? No. Why no? market, actually? Why Dad chicken's... made bread. Homemade bread, yeah. Yep. What was that face? Do you like crispy part? Or How did I zoom part? in that much? What? Crispy or non crispy part? For first taste. Non crispy. This is really nice, by the way. This is this is beautiful. Oh, I made that. No, obviously. Really? Let me see. Mom has excellent Isn't that taste. Nice? That was a Dollar Tree piece that I painted and made it my own thing. So a dollar plus what does this cost? A dollar? Two dollars? The whole thing probably cost me three dollars to make. I think you could sell this for like ten bucks, maybe twelve. I was gonna say twelve. Plus shipping. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, my my mind's always thinking. That's fine. Monetize your life. Freedom. Look at that one. Freedom. Isn't Less real work. Look at the colors. Show them that. That is really nice. I like the colors in that. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I actually like the black a lot. I know. Black goes well with pink in certain regards. Uh -huh. And this is one of those certain regards. Very nice, mom. On his side. No. The other way. Okay, that's good. Looks like a butt. Can I try this? Oh. These hots are licking or drinking. I thought a cat was vomiting. You know that noise? <laughs> Is he out of water? I don't know. Hey, answer. Hot are you surprised, right. David? Mom made bread. Nope. Dad made bread. Ooh. Is it sourdough? No, regular Italian. Okay, good. I'm not a big side of it. Italian. Mmm. Very fluffy. Mm-hmm. Do you have sauce? No. I have gravy. All right. I'm just kidding. Hey, Yo. Baby. Seriously, that's, that's, that's really good. Hon, you want more rice? Mama? Dad, good job. Rice? Dad, good job. Yeah, that's... The next one's gonna be better. It, it's fluffy, though. I like it. The next one's gonna be more flavorful. That was just... French bread. I like it. Oh, I thought it was Italian. Sorry. Uh, French. I gave bad information. It's French bread, guys. Mmm. It's very good. It, it definitely has a homemade taste to it. Hey, Daddy. Why is it homemade? Mm hmm. Jesus. Just kidding. Hi, JK. I've had nothing to eat all day, guys. It's 7 o'clock. <sighs> Brandy lately? Who the freak is Brandy? I love Brandy. Who's hot? Hi, Dad. Dude, Brandy. how are we gonna do this? It's a bottle of Brandy inside the. What do you want? Where? You look oh. like your pants are falling down. They are. Oh, okay. He's making me talk. Great dinner, Mom. Thank you. Seriously, excellent dinner. Fine, I'll tell him what he did this weekend. Uh, okay, good. I had a very productive weekend. Where Eat it. We're, we're, we're at the post office. Beat it. We're gonna go to bed. Rude. Um, very productive weekend. Not so much yesterday. Although, my favorite thing about Christmas Day. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> my favorite thing about Christmas Day. No, but seriously, um, yesterday I spent a lot of time in the carriage house crafting. Guys, I've made so much Valentine stuff this year. And everybody keeps telling me I need to sell an Etsy, so stay tuned. Maybe I'll do that. Because I, ha what am I going to do with all this stuff? I literally have so many hearts. Wood hearts. It's not even funny. All like a shabby chic kind of vibe. Because I love shabby chic pinks and grays and lace. It's so pretty. And then today, finally put all the Christmas stuff away. Except for one set of garland I just saw in my kitchen. Put my kitchen back together, my dining room back together, my living room back together. 
and I'm trying to go more minimalistic, guys. I'm trying not to do too much with decorating. I want more simple. Because we got a grandbaby coming, so we need to have room. Question. Yes. A Carl so and so, not gonna say his last name, apparently used to have my P.O. Box. No. P.O. Box 66. You got something from Prudential. It's not even my name, but they still put it in there. So should I just put it like just under put the, it on the counter? The thing's blocked off. Should I slide it under? Yeah, slide under the door. Okay. Yeah. But she got Wait, on. Let me see. She got on me about using the name DeFranco, but that's not even close to my name. Yeah. So I guess that's the guy who used to have my P.O. Box. Huh. I know that name. Oh God, is he dead? That person is my special person in the home. Really? Not that last name. Um, or just stick it in the mailbox and we'll resort it. If you can't get under the door. I'll put it on the inside thing. Yeah. Okay. What is this? David DeFranco and family. And family. I'm going to open it because it says on family. You think I'll get mad, guys? Do you think I'll get mad? It's, let's, oh, Lord have mercy. It's a long one. Merry Christmas. The hangers. Greg. Heather and Coronado. Hi, David and family. My name is Heather and I have been a long, long time viewer. I don't have a social media presence and don't need any shout outs. Well, if you're watching this, you're going to get one. So I opened it. It's nice and warm. Are you, are you ready? Should I start it? all over? Yeah, yeah, read it, please. Hi, David and family. My name is Heather and I have been a long, long time viewer. I don't have a social media presence and don't need any shout outs. You will get one. It's nice of you, though. In light of spreading kindness and love, I thought I, drive? I would introduce myself. I became a widow at 32 when my husband passed away oh, suddenly. Wow. wow, I'm so That's sorry. Horrible. Way too young. I'm so sorry. I was bored one day and stumbled across your videos in his subscriptions on YouTube and started watching. Oh my God, that makes me cry. So he subscribed to you. She. No, oh, her oh, husband. He, oh, it. She started looking through his subscriptions. A subscriber of mine died? Yeah, I guess. That's sad. That I was makes bored it even one day and sad. stumbled across your videos in his subscriptions on YouTube and started watching. In a small, strange way, I feel close to him every time I watch your videos. Oh, that's nice. Your positive oh, no, attitude and good hearted nature be okay. makes me so happy to continue to watch. So happy, in fact, that I became a patron this year. Welcome, I like Heather. you even more That's now. awesome. <laughs> Love that. Thank you, Heather. I just wanted you to know that your content helps me get through the tough moments. I'm wishing you success. <laughs> Continued help. <laughs> You're going to make me cry. Stop. So I get for being nosy and opening his card. Yeah, that's you opening my mail, by the way. It said in family. That's okay. I'm I was going to say, that's, that's, that's a federal offense. It says in family. You're right, you're right. Anyway, I'm sorry, Heather. Um, it be I became a patron this year. I was just wanted you to know that your content helps me get through the tough moments. I'm wishing you success, continued health, and lots of loving kindness for 2021 in friendship. And I got remarried this year. Hence the different last name. Oh, well, congratulations. Well, hold on. I'm not being rude. <laughs> this car. Heather, this I'm camera. sure your first husband was very special to you, yeah. but I'm also very glad that you were able Heather, to find I'm love. very sorry to hear that. A second time. So yeah. it sounds like you're a very positive person. I like that. Positive and vibes. Thank you. Now, you know what? <laughs> this made me, besides cry, it made me know, made me realize even more how precious life is. So thank you. And look, I'm assuming this is Coronado. <laughs> Coronado. <laughs> it's a cute dog. But thank you so much, Heather. And thank you for supporting David. It's crazy how people find you, isn't it? I don't, I don't mean to put the pressure on you. Okay. But we have our address now. Okay. So if you want to make her something at some point. Oh, I would love to do that, Heather. Now we have a theme. There you something go. To work off Thank of. you, David. I'm not throwing you under the bus or anything. I'm you know, assuming saying this is, do this, this is, do that. This is but... a personal card, right? Yeah, Shutterfly. So this is her yeah. dog. Ooh, oh, that's even, her dog. I could even use this. I didn't picture. see it. <gasps> can I see the dog? Do you mind if I use this picture, Heather? Actually, Heather's a patron, so maybe she can personally reach out to me. Can, Wait, can was I use that? was his name Greg, or was the dog's name? Well, it was dog. Her name. new husband. She said she remarried. Okay, so the dog is Corrado. I'm assuming. That's a cool name. Unique. I wonder what it means. I don't know. That's, okay. that's, a, that's a really cute dog. I'm probably going to do something with this card for you. So I'm going to make a copy of the back so we have it. Because I may need to use this dog. Heather, seriously, that's amazing. Thank you very much for the positive vibes. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so sorry to hear about your husband. But 
It, it sounds like you're the forward thinking, positive going kind of guy, a person, girl, woman. <laughs> I just say guy for everything. Like, what's up, guys? But thank you for making Very my night. Very cool, Heather. And thank You're you so much Heather. for your patronage. I appreciate that so much. See? You made my mom cry. <laughs> come on. Come on, Heather. <laughs> Seriously. What's your deal? Poor mom gets choked up. <laughs> I'm very emotional. That's where David but gets... But to be fair... That's where David gets his sweetness from Mom, me. Mom, mom cries from... Guys, she, she cries when the donut <laughs> cabinet is empty. <laughs> True. She's like, oh, they're out of donuts. <laughs> no, I, don't. I do cry at TV a lot, though. You do. And songs on the radio. Hallmark. And videos on Facebook. You would have cried at Christmas YouTube shoes. YouTube videos. I, wa I watched Christmas shoes in December. Oh. On my I was a mess. I was a mess. You should have seen me the first day driving back to work after 9-11 when I played I'm Proud to be an American. Yeah. I almost had a pull I'm sure over. that would have been sad. I was bawling. But anyway, Heather, thank you so much yes, for Heather, making my day. Positive vibes. And I'm glad you were able to move thank on. Thank you so much, yeah. And I hope you have a great 2021. Yes. I will see you on Patreon. Mask up, you irresponsible Does that mean swine? she'll see everything we do of being a patron? Yeah. Should I apologize in advance? I mean, she gets to see us eat our Chick-fil-A this week. <laughs> Stay tuned. You know, there's nothing better than watching us eat waffle fries. I lost my mask. Well, put it on. I don't know where it is. Can you put a light on? I don't have light It's in this a car. black mask, so it's going to blend in with this mess of a car. I'm getting cold. I need this. And I'm home. What's up, Mal? We sleeping. You're such a go Yeah, yeah. Guys, as always, I just want you to know I truly do appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I, I say appreciate a lot, don't I? You know what? I would rather be over appreciative than under appreciative. Thank you, Maui, for that reminder. I know, I know. I need the vacuum as he scratches his prism thing. Yes, this week, patrons, stay tuned. I will be opening the vacuum. No, I'm not going to do a detailed unboxing, but th th this is like the week of cleaning the house, getting things in order. And good news, I did order my LG 27-inch 4K HDR monitor. It's going to be our Tuesday, in theory, Tuesday. It's what Amazon's telling me. A Slim NY in my Twitch chat. Thank you again so much. Because of you, the monitor ended up costing me like $79. <laughs> $79. That's... Incredible. Dude. I, I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I told you it would go towards something good, you know? Like, I don't want to put it towards games and whatever. Like, games are great, but I wanted to go towards something, like, something I'm truly going to use almost every day. And that is definitely a secondary monitor, because I actually, I actually need one. I don't want one. I need one for my display and my workflow and all that stuff. Anyway, good weekend. Good weekend. Um, it's always good hanging out with the family. Got some little dessert tonight. Some tin foil. Love that stuff. Well, aluminum foil, cranberries for lunch tomorrow, and a leftover chicken meal from Mama Chicken Stuffing and Rice. So that is gonna be a good lunch. Got a big old milk. Says I go through so much milk at Rudders. And of course, a coffee. Because you guys know me, I'm gonna be up late tonight. Still gotta finish editing this vlog, previewing it. I'm gonna catch up on some email and maybe play some Xbox. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say uh, time pending. All right, gotta take the trash out. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate your continued support. There I go again with the appreciation. You know, baby, you know I love it. Um, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic week or weekend, depending on when or where you're watching this video. And I'll see you later. Stay safe out there. Peace.